this election season, it's time to lay aside our petty differences and band together as teams for the greater good of society. Republicans and Democrats, rednecks and tree huggers, cops and robbers, pirates and ninjas. Work together to spring your crews from the pen and come on down to Saints Row for some team building cooperative gameplay. Bond with old friends in online gaming harmony with full drop in, drop out online co op support and play through the entire single player campaign with your cohorts. On October 14th, it's time to form a coalition of the willing to take co op gameplay to all new heights. Saints Row 2. Hey, God Gamers! What's up? It's me, Steve Masters, and we're here at the Saints Row 2 party. And look, there's beautiful Saints Row 2 babes here. What's your name? Nazi. What are you doing? You're serving food? Serving little quiches. They're um, Applewood smoked bacon and Greer cheese. What do you think? You want one? Let's give one to the Got Game TV viewers. Hey guys, uh, first of all I want to thank all you guys for coming out here. Um, we're really excited to give you a chance to uh, take another look at Saints Row 2 and see a little bit more of what we've been doing. Um, you know, Saints Row 2, we're, we're again really excited it's out October 14th, and for us, it's a, a big step forward in where we think uh, open world gaming is going to go in terms of player interactivity. Welcome to the Strong Arm Tutorial, sponsored by Ultor. <laughs> in Strong Arm, two teams vie for control of a neighborhood. To ensure your survival, it is vital that you and your associates work as a team. To win Strong Arm, a team must generate enough income to buy out the neighborhood. By participating in activities and killing your opponents, your team earns money. When an activity begins, complete the objectives to earn money. Activities change as the match progresses. Everyone competes in the activity together. The scoring meter shows which team is winning the activity. All money earned in activities is added to your team's total. However, when a team wins an activity, they are awarded an additional cash bonus. Complete the objectives, win the activity. Win the activity, win the money. Yeah, we're here at the Saints Row 2 party and it's really going off. And I'm here with Roger Smith, who's in charge of all the multiplayer stuff. And he just talked about some really incredible multiplayer stuff. I mean, the tagging, you've got, if you, you see someone tagging, you can run them over. I mean, this is serious. This is a serious video game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, pretty much what we wanted to do is we wanted to take a lot of different gameplay elements from other modes and comprise this mega mode. So pretty much what you have is you have the tag, you have the tagging spots, which is pretty much like reminiscent of like the Unreal like domination mechanic, where you go around and you tag things. But instead of you collecting points, we want to actually give your team a bonus. So you can call the cops on people, you can put like a smoke screen on people, you can put stealth, you can give your team more health, more ammo, more accuracy, a whole lot of things. And with the activities that roll in, those are like these little mini modes you have. So you might be racing one minute, you might be doing snatch next minute. We got to kill pimps and you know bring your host to clients. Um, you might end up. You might end up doing Demolition Derby, where it's pretty much you're just ramming into everything, trying to destroy them. There's a lot for you doing Strong Arm. This is like the mega mode. It's a lot of modes comprised into one. And we really feel that everyone's going to have a great time with it and have a, a lot of fun with it. Now, obviously, you know, Saints Row 2 is the gangster life in the video game form. And, you know, people can live their fantasy world through this game. Now, what about Xbox 360 versus PlayStation 3? Because PlayStation 3 is kind of new to the online game for a lot of gamers who were definitely there when Saints Row 1 was out. Right. What do you got to say for PlayStation 3 people that just got the game? They, hadn't, they didn't play Saints Row 1. Right. What do you got to say for them now that they're going to get online? 
Um, I, I think they're going to have a great time. I mean, you know, un unfortunately, you know, they weren't able to enjoy the first one, but that's all right because actually what we're presenting now is actually going to be better. So they're actually going to get the better version, going to get our better effort now this time around for multiplayer, single player, co-op, etc. So they're actually getting something better. So they shouldn't feel too bad. They're getting the top-notch product this time for the Saints Row franchise. And free. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's go back just really quickly. Just how multiplayer, you, you were talking about all the different rooms and how easy it was to get connected. You don't have to wait for matches to start. You had all these different modes. Absolutely. How many people in each room, etc.? Well, it depends on the match you're setting up. I mean, pretty much you can have eight players max for a strong arm, and for Gangster Boy, you can have 12 players max. So when you're setting up a strong arm lobby, eight players end up getting in there, and the match doesn't start until the host starts the match. So you can actually have eight people or 12 people running around in a lobby. Um, we have the Marshall Winslow Rec Center for one of the lobbies and also the pimped out version of the Saints headquarters for the other lobby. And it's everyone just running around with this pre-match you know, chaos going on. Everyone killing each other and letting them know, look, you know, when this match starts, I'm still going to own you the way I owned you in this lobby. <laughs> well, we look forward to this game. really sounds serious and I can't wait to really try it and see if it's all that you guys talk about on October 14th. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it.